Ah, yes. I understand. I'll make this short. Okay, okay. By the mercy of the Blue Dragon. No, no, it may have been a curse. Lily's pretty voice was switched with her father's gruff voice. And the only way to get her own beautiful voice back was for her to kill her father. Having fallen in love with an actor in a traveling troupe, Lily took my ceremonial dagger to kill her father. That's where we left off, correct? That's right. Give me the sharpest knife so that my father won't suffer for too long. Horrible, isn't it? <sighs> Just thinking about it gives me the shivers. I still remember the horror. Lily's pretty lips spoke those horrible words in the gruff voice of an old fisherman. She didn't kill her father right away, though. She couldn't. Every night, she would go to her father's bedroom and stand beside his bed. She would lay the dagger on her father's bearded throat. But still, she couldn't commit the final act. She would just stand there in silence for a while. Then she would leave the room with tears in her eyes. Every night, the same routine. But actually, her father was not asleep. He was ready to die if it meant that his daughter would have her beautiful voice back. The daughter, standing at her father's bedside. The father pretending to be asleep while his daughter places a dagger to his throat. My heart aches every time I picture the scene. And finally, the troop was ready to move out of the fishing village the next day. Lily made up her mind and entered her father's bedroom again. But the bedroom was empty. Her father knew she'd leave the village with the theater troupe, so he thought, I'll send her off with a little something. And he had gone out to sea in search of some fish you could catch only on the night of new moon. But irony of ironies, that very night, a storm rolled in, and the seas raged wildly. The next day, the sun reappeared and rose high overhead, but there was still no sign of Lily's father. It was just like that night some while ago. Then, as the sun was going down again, the debris of a fishing boat washed ashore from the crimson red ocean. Everyone knew her father was dead. Lily cried and cried in despair. Now neither her voice nor her father would ever return. Her cries echoed all over the village. Cries like a wounded beast. Oh, 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 oh. The young man from the theater troupe went to Lily's house to console her, but she would not let him in. Of course, he never knew that the hideous cries coming from the other side of the wall were Lily's own. 
Late that evening, after the sun went down, the cries came again. Oh! 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 Lily's voice had grown hoarse from her endless wailing, making it sound even more fearsome. But then, another very strange sound joined in. That. Shlip. 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 That. It was like a wet, sloppy piece of meat slithering across the ground. The sound was coming from the harbor, and it was getting closer and closer. Slip, 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 splat, slip. And then the gulls started to screech too, perhaps because they wanted that meat. Mother! See, Mother! <laughs> 